Hello everyone, welcome to episode 37 of Learn With Me. Our topic today is ideas and inspiration for web designing. Number one, I'm going to be putting it Pinterest. Pinterest is my favorite one solely because I use it every time. It is more relatable. It is easier. Everybody mostly have Pinterest. And if you don't have Pinterest, the other alternative is Instagram. But Pinterest is better. Um, is way more easier. And you can follow pins where it, your topics. And so since our topic today is web designing, um, you can put in the search bar. You can follow some people who are doing web designing boards. That is number one. Number two is Behance.net. Behance.net is a website where you can get pictures and ideas from. It is a little bit similar to Pinterest, but when you search for web design, there will be photos. And it is also powered by Adobe and Adobe Cloud. So they are good. They have um, inspirations where most likely you don't have. But since we have other websites, they are almost similar. But I found these um, part of the design more like uh, chic. If you are selling furniture or clothes, you will find more better ideas in that type of category from my point of view. Number three is Site Inspire. Site Inspire is a website which um, you can also search for thumbnails. But the exciting thing of this place is which you have categories is a little bit difficult on the interface uh, it is a bit confusing but when you know um, which design you want they will immediately take you to the original website where you can see as I'm opening here I can see one of the designs and they are from Squarespace and I see it and I go immediately to Squarespace and I can see the things that I want. This is like a um, real life point of view, but I want you to be careful because some of them is affiliated. Uh, there's affiliate links in them if you are trying to buy something from them. So that is number three. And number four is best website gallery. Best website gallery, their features are seeing like a gallery. There's like a thumbnail in each um, one of these platforms where I'm sharing also you can go to the original website There's photos in the website where you don't need to go to the original website um, They're amazing. They're easy to use if you are a web designer Because the interface is a bit difficult for a normal human being which are starting There's a lot of tutorials about it and you can study it by yourself but I put it as number four because it really depends on what niche you are. And since I'm here as a business niche or I choose um, Pinterest to be the first one because it is more easier, more broad. Also, this one, Best, ga uh, best Website Gallery, it has as di display. And the others, when you are just scrolling, there's like a pop-up for email but nothing else which really bothers. But in Pinterest, there's not much um, ads, but you should uh, completely watch um, what links you click on there because some of them are affiliated and some of them could be something wrong or the wrong website for the wrong design. So that is number four. Number five is Dribble. This is our last one. Dribble as a user like type of experience if you go to their website and try to find something and it is your first time it's a bit confusing but when you get used to it using the website it's quite easy also I like the way their aesthetics are they are more on my type of aesthetics it depends what type of industry you are in but Dribble and Pinterest as aesthetics wise are a bit competing but the user base of number five is a bit confusing so it gets less than a point 
but Pinterest will always be number one into my eyes. It depends what type of industry you are in, what type of category you are in. So it really depends on you. But these are my five types of ways that I use these websites to get inspirations, idea for web designing. So thank you for listening until the end and I'm going to be seeing you in the next episode 38 of Learn With Me.